Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here, and in this video, Nick and myself are going to be looking at this. This is a move from Allbirds to go from road to trail, it's the Allbirds Trail Runner SWT. Nick and I have done some early first run miles in them, and here is what we made of it. So those key details then first, well this new eco-friendly trail running shoe from Allbirds has a drop of seven mil. That's a stack height of 25 mils in the heel, 18 mils in the forefoot. It's got four mil lugs underneath to keep traction on the trails. It weighs 369 grams in a UK men's size nine and 13 ounces in a US men's size 10. And the price is 128 pounds or $138. So straight out of the box then, you can kind of see that this Allbirds Trail Runner SWT isn't really kind of like your normal trail running shoe. You're certainly not going to go out and run for performance in this. It does have a very sort of similar Allbirds feel to the silhouette. If you've looked at our reviews of the Tree Dasher and the, in the past, this shoe sort of feels like it's got that kind of Allbirds DNA built into it. One of those things that makes it different is that Allbirds has taken a lot of the materials that you'd find in traditional shoes and tried to find more eco-friendly alternatives. So that means kind of finding plant-based solutions where possible to replace the kind of our reliance on plastics and also to look at kind of more natural materials like merino wool where possible. The eco-credentials of all those materials need a little bit more forensics in terms of, you know, it's not just about replacing plastics, it's about how those are sourced, how kind of the overall kind of sustainability of those materials and also obviously where they're made, how they're collected, how they're gathered, all those things. So that's something, kind of a discussion for another day. But in spirit, this shoe really is designed to sort of move ourselves away from that over-reliance on petrochemical based kind of solutions and things that don't break down aren't natural and are doing a bit more damage to the environment. So what Allbirds says that it's created here is a shoe that is designed for kind of light to rugged trails, wet and dry climates, and looking at things like everything from rocky and mountainous to kind of muddy and grassy terrains, and distances kind of five to 10 miles, but probably no more than that. It's also interesting that they kind of mark this out as a hiking running shoe. So again, back to that point, that this isn't really designed for you to go out and do kind of high performance ultra trail runs. It's kind of there as a sort of casual trailer and that's is how we're going to judge it. So let's give you a quick whip around this shoe. Well, in classic kind of Allbird style, this has got like a booty construction. There's almost like two sections here. They describe it as a one piece up, but there's almost sort of two sections that it breaks down into. You've got this kind of tight knit merino wall kind of section in the middle that goes up into that kind of um, knitted sort of heel collar that's very sort of soft and flexible, um, hugs across the top of the foot in this section that runs around up into the toe box and out down the sides, you've got eucalyptus tree fibers there that add a little bit more support. Those have been coated with a fluorine free kind of water repellent coating that's there to sort of minimize kind of water absorption. It's supposed to keep more water out that you might encounter on the trails. You've basically got laces as with all other Allbirds that come from recycled plastic bottles and they're quite thick and padded. You've got these kind of big old kind of lace loops on the top there, which again is another sort of feature that's familiar with Allbirds shoes. A little bit of a pull tie here to help you get the shoes to slip on into those kind of, you know, with that booty fit to help them tug on. On the inside, it's another feature we've become familiar with with Allbirds. You've got a merino wall kind of padding section in here. It's super soft, super lined, just sort of holds the heel in place there and gives a little bit of comfort. That goes sort of right down sort of a little bit down into this section here. Again, just some nice, it's got a soft feeling on the top of the, the, the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot there for comfort. So in the midsole, you're gonna get, again, quite a big stack of sweet foam. It's a sugarcane derived midsole foam. And with that midsole, as with all Allbirds shoes actually, when you first pick them up and give that midsole a squeeze, you can feel there's not much giving it. This is not like a super responsive, you know, squish and respond kind of shoe. And that's been interesting for their road shoes. It does mean that the distance often with those shoes is a little bit more limited in what you might want to run before you get a little bit of that foot fatigue. And we're gonna find out how that stacks up on the trails as well, see if that foam actually works any better when you go off-road. Flip them over and on the outsole, you've got four mil lugs in a kind of interesting design sort of traction pattern here. That's an outsole that's made from natural rubber. And then on the back here, the other detail, you've got this kind of, this plant-based TPU heel counter and again, that's there just to sort of hold your heel in place. Doesn't rise too high up the shoe, actually. It's kind of quite low, but interestingly, sort of comes just, just off there into the, into the back of the heel. You've also got a removable insole. It's kind of sort of slightly sculpted, sort of almost, not quite, not quite bucket-like, but it's sculpted a little bit. And underneath that, as with all Allbirds shoes, you reveal the, uh, the carbon footprint 
of each individual shoe. You can see it's kind of stamped in there. And for each pair of these, you're looking at 16.3 kilograms of CO2. When it comes to fit, uh, in my normal size, I found that the Allbirds Trail Runner was quite long. They're very spacious in the toe box. It almost had the fit of a normal shoe rather than a running shoe. Um, I also found the minimal lacing that you get on the shoe makes it quite hard to get a proper lockdown around the heel. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. I was able to run fine in my normal size, but yeah, I'd probably go half a size down. So in terms of fit, I ran in a UK 9, which is half a size bigger than I would normally go. I'm a UK 8.5. I found the actual, the hold across the top of the foot to be fine. I didn't get any kind of slipping in the heels. I did find sort of the lockdown was okay, but you do have to work the laces quite tight in the beginning. The other thing is I think, interestingly, that extra kind of bit of space in the toe box I thought might be problematic because I would normally run eight and a half, but actually these shoes ran really well at that size. So that's an interesting thing. Maybe I would choose a half a size up, and but I'd be interested to run in the eight and a half just to see anyway, but actually at half a size up, they ran with plenty of space. So kind of ahead of this embargo, uh, I've only had time for a couple of runs in the Allbirds Trail Runner. Uh, I'm also recovering from a marathon at the moment. So I've had a couple of you know, fairly short, steady plods around my local forest, um, which at the moment is reasonably sloppy, not too muddy yet. It's starting to get there. And I've quite enjoyed using the shoe. The grip's actually been pretty good on a range of surfaces, like I've run on quite hard kind of forest trails, some kind of stony bits, uh, some fairly sloppy bits and like grass, and even the roads to and from the forest, and actually it's been okay. It's only when it's getting really muddy that I find that um, it did start to get a little bit too slippery. The kind of slightly odd-shaped four millimetre lugs tend to uh, skate a bit. They don't get enough purchase on like kind of deeper muddy sections. They also pick up a bit of mud. So yeah, it's more, it's got a good general trail shoe, I'd say, in terms of gripping across a range of surfaces but not great in the deep deep mud. Uh, it comes to the feel of the shoe it's got quite a firm feel I will say that. Um, it's also very bottom heavy I find it very heavy in general actually and um, yeah certainly when you start to pick up a bit of mud it just get quite you know big on the foot it's not it's not a shoe at all class it's kind of a performance shoe on the trails wouldn't be running fast in it but yeah on those kind of general plods it, it was okay it wasn't too firm like I say the ground is reasonably soft near me at the moment um, but yeah it wasn't a shoe I'd probably be delighted to go and log like kind of 20k in I kind of did like 5 and 10k's in it and yeah, that was about right, I think, for it. So out for my first run with the Allbirds Trail Runner SWT. And I think, like Nick, I'm on very tired legs after 7 in 7 with the embargo kind of looming large. So fessing up here, haven't quite done the miles that I would like to do to give you like a full review of these. Um, so I've done about kind of 6 miles on lighter trails than maybe they are designed for in some conditions. So it's kind of... Uh, Fairly flat, nothing that, nothing too inclined, but off-road, small stones, sort of river paths, basically where I am now. And uh, yeah, my first run, it basically feels like all the other Allbirds shoes I've run in so far. This is a firm ride. If you like soft, this isn't going to be for you. So we've seen a bit of a move towards things like uh, like the Ultramax Innovates and um, those big cushioned North Face Vectives. These are at the opposite end of the scale. They are very very firm underfoot you've got a big wide base down there on the bottom of these though that's the same as you'll find with a tree dasher they've carried that over here with that sweet foam that foam sweet foam but it does give you kind of a wide and fairly stable base that's one thing that i do think has sort of worked quite nicely you will feel sort of stones and bits and pieces popping up through the soles of those foot when you hit them though because there's not that much compression in those soles so maybe when you're out on bigger trails uh, whether that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing i at the moment, I feel like it might become an issue if you're going to try and go long in these. And I would totally agree with all birds' kind of categorization of these as kind of five to ten mile shoes. I don't think that I would want to go longer in them. I think you're going to feel that foot fatigue. But as a casual trailer, where you, you know, if you occasionally get out and run around a park or you go a little bit off road where it's not too crazy and you're doing short runs and you want to do something that maybe is a little bit friendlier for the planet, this is where all birds' kind of niche is. It's the same with their road running shoes. They are not the highest performance. They're not the softest. They can do a very, very good job over short distances. So the other thing I will say is the uppers, I think, are very comfortable. You know, they do hug the foot nicely, they wrap the foot. I know Nick's mentioned that he has some sort of heel slipping. I haven't found that. I've managed to get quite a lockdown fit here, but I have got quite, a, quite wide sort of fat feet. So maybe that's just me. Um, haven't been able, it's been dry here, so for this run, couldn't take him into the wet. I do have a feeling that even though they've got that water repellent coating, that that merino wall might pick up water and hold it on wetter runs. And of course, because it's dry here and it's fairly flat, haven't really had the chance to test that, those four mil lugs 
I think Nick had a better opportunity to do that, but those will be interesting and we will take them into kind of more trickier terrain when we come to do the full review of this shoe. Overall, I think moving into trail shoes is, is a good move for all birds. I haven't really tested their road shoes um, as someone who really is more focused on the performance end of things, um, despite trying to live a fairly green life where I can. Um, I think on the trails it's good because obviously you're out in nature, you want to maybe think that you're using an environmentally friendly product. Um, but also just the ground out in nature is much more forgiving. Like if you're just pounding out roads in what, you know, the all birds foam I think is quite firm. It's not like the plushest, not the bounciest, it's not the most enjoyable ride. And actually you can get away with that a lot more on the trails when you're on slightly softer ground or uneven ground. Uh, and so I think all in all, this is a good move for them. Especially as well, I personally, I think a lot of people tend to do more easy running on the trails. So again, you're not so demand you know, you're not so demanding maybe about the performance of a shoe when you're out there so the shoe just isn't really a high performance shoe for me like it is pretty heavy it's got quite an uninspired ride but it's not bad at all like it's you know i enjoyed those little plods out there i think if you're just someone who likes to hit the trails a few times a week for kind of 5k 5k to 15k that kind of thing um and you know really is interested in trying to reduce your carbon footprint and all that then this is a lovely option to have out there if you are really focused on the rider issue and how it's going to perform i'd look elsewhere to all birds but yeah it's a nice enough ride i enjoyed plodding around in it it's um, got a decent grip for a range of surfaces but just yeah, not ideal for that really muddy stuff that i sometimes come across in my local forest I'd like to see the weight come down a lot and maybe soften up that ride a little bit in the future. So my verdict on the All Birds Trail Run event, well, I haven't done that many miles, so this isn't really a full verdict, but for the miles I have done, they run like an All Birds shoe. This is, this is kind of what you get from All Birds shoes. They run firm. They aren't as high performance as other shoes. You're definitely making a, a kind of trade-off here for some of those eco credentials for performance. Now that said, I think if you're running shorter distances up to kind of five miles on lighter trails, sort of easier trails, a very sort of slower clips where you're sort of more, more kind of casual trail running than anything with a real kind of firm performance intent, then I think these can do a, a job. Yeah, they're a bit heavier than perhaps you would like. Yes, they're a little bit firmer than perhaps you would like, but you know, along this road where we're going, where we're trying to find materials that can perform in the way that, you know, top performing sort of TPUs and all these kind of other, other super foams that are plastic based perform, you know, these shoes are doing a reasonable job so there's a way to go until these shoes with these materials actually kind of match those high performance shoes still. Um, you know, when you get into the kind of using the plastic based kind of TPUs and those kind of super foams that you get, you're getting from other shoes. But in the trail space, maybe perhaps that firmness isn't such a big deal. A lot of trail shoes can sort of come up fairly firm. And it's an interesting move from all birds. I'm going to be interested to take these out and give them a more thorough test. And again, as ever, on some more kind of tricky trails than I have done so far. There you have it that's our first run impression of the Allbirds Trail Runner SWT if you have any questions about this shoe feel free to hit us up in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in eco-friendly shoes there's a few more on the channel that you can find have a look through and you've got some Allbirds reviews from other shoes um, we've also tested the Allbirds times Adidas collaboration so that's an interesting one to look out for too but yeah overall thanks for watching uh we've been the run testers and we will hope to see you again soon on the channel take care and happy running people